I want to be remembered for the kid that came from Australia and put everybody from his area on and became not just the biggest thing out of Australia, but the biggest thing in the world. Young children and teenagers are joining alleged street gangs in Western Sydney. They're writing songs and posting online videos emulating violent US rap culture. Never thought we'd be here today. Two years ago, I was sitting in the cell, so I knew something had to change. Gangs, primarily of Pacific Islander descent, remain a priority of the New South Wales police force. It's not what it sounds like, it's what it feels like. It's never about the sound, it's yeah, always it's about, about the what feel. It feels. All I knew is rapping about violence, but I didn't really know what was really waiting for me, and that was to become a real musician. I'm like the jail of the Drake in my city. Where they say they won't say that shit to me. I'm in that town, my brothers is with me. Shout out my boys from the 70s, shout out my boys from the 60s. They know what's in me. Music's me now, that's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Leroy sent me four tracks, and the first one we listened to was this, and we didn't listen to anything else. There was a music idea that Keanu started that he then sent to Fnatic and Zach. Then that sample was sent in a pack to Han. Him and Leroy made an idea, which was Leroy's vocals that you hear in the beginning, and that's where it ended. Leroy was like, I want to give this to one four and let them do their thing on it. Khaled had told me about the song, and he played it to me, and I was like, man, the boys got to hear this. We'll listen to it off the phone. Put it on, and you just see the energy in the room. It was perfect. I'm like the J or the Drake in my city. Where they say they won't say that shit to me. I'm the J and the Drake in my city. He's just stating it. That's crazy in itself. I'm in downtown and my brothers is with me. Shout out my boys from the 70s. Shout out my boys from the 60s. They know what's in me. 70s, us. 60, that's St. Mary's. One station down. Those are our brothers. Just unifies everything. And he brings it back to 17. perfectly for the situation, what was happening at the time. At the time when we were getting a bit of backlash from a lot of social media. People trying to blame us for certain things that were happening around us, stabbings, whatever you call it, shootings, because of our music and our brand. I walk through the city, they treat me like God. We were six deep in that five seat car. I heard that they got a problem with me, told them cut on my face, but they faking it fraud. It was excitement to get their emotions out. They wrote their, their verses so quickly because they just knew what to talk about. James was writing his verse without no beat there. I remember going on my phone, I was starting up messages on, on my story, ready to like, apply to people, and my team around me was saying, just don't worry about yeah, it. We would have been the type of people yeah. to have to explain ourselves over the media, you know what I mean? It's gonna be like that, this is our perfect time to be able to speak our mind on how we feel about certain things happening around us. Now they blame one for for all of the drillings. They blame us for what happens in Sydney. They blame us for what happens in Melbourne. They blame us for what happens in Brizzy. Tell me who's with me. Cause I ain't kidding, this shit been happening since back in the day. No one said nothing when she got knocked, but now everybody's got something to say. Get the f on my face. I ain't trying to lead these youngers astray, but stay in your place. If you got a problem, then come out and play. I'm making my paper, I stayed in my lane. They thought I would change for the money and fame. Everything that I'm doing, I do for the game. We already told you this shit ain't the game. Now stop playing, everyone knows that. I'm like the jail of the Drake in my city. Where they say they won't say that shit to me. I'm in that town, my brothers is with me. Shout out my boys from the 70s, shout out my boys from the 60s. They know what's in me. Shout out my boys from the 70s, they really know how I was living. I would have felt it. The energy and the frustration of that song translates because you can feel it. That's the thing that stands out about Leroy and stands out about these guys is they emote, like they're speaking from their guts, their heart, their soul, you know? For our music, we've always told our story, we've always explained what's happening around us and what's happening to us. That's the only way we know how to. For us guys, is to help them facilitate a safe environment for them to be able to express themselves. In the streets, you have your family, but then on the music side also, there's a family environment. It's just been the same team from the beginning. No new friends. It's like sitting down at a dinner table and asking them how their day was. It's like a therapy session. I've got too much on my plate to be putting up with all the politics. For the critics, I don't have the tolerance. And for the pussy boy sucking and swallowing. Yeah, I hate when I'm speaking the truth, but I gotta acknowledge it. Yeah, that crypto boy figures, but some of his tell me where did they all get their confidence? I ain't gonna take this shit no more. First class and I'm on that plane. I was on the map and they all complain. Telling the truth and I still complain. And I shoot in clips because they all want fame. Got out on the strip, they ain't got no name. I don't give a f I'm a cop that plane. I was raised on the street, I'm a stay this way. Cause I think I say I'm a type to the 
Shooting the clips now that you want shooting the clips cause they all want fame but out in the strip they ain't got no names. Out on the strip they ain't got no names. I wake up every morning bro, grateful to be in this position. This far in the last 18 months we feel like we can take anything on now. I guess it's just come to that time where people just want to know exactly what's going on in our heads. I want people to listen to this, to take it on board and then really just learn from it. You know, the musicality of the whole project, just what they're talking about too, that's the life story. Oh, fuck the one four, brother. <laughs> They blaming us for what happened to Melbourne. They blaming us for what happened to Brisbane. Tell me who's with me. Cause I ain't kidding this shit been happening since back in the day. No one said nothing with shit. But now everybody's got something to say.